Today we're going to be taking a look at the suspension upgrades available for the Ford F53 chassis. These upgrades are all designed to improve the drivability and the handling of your RV. The most common problem with an RV is just as you're going down the road, uneven road surfaces, little ruts in the road, things like that can really make it a challenge to get down the road safely. Most of the time when you get where you're going, it's time for a rest. You know, you, you got to kind of rest up a little bit after that drive, always fighting that steering wheel to maintain your lane. Um, some of the things that, uh, that we found here, reading through customer reviews and everything, is that all of these upgrades really make a significant difference. Uh, one of the first upgrades a lot of customers uh, like to do will be what we have here. This is a front sway bar upgrade. This one's from Roadmaster. Now the sway bar is going to eliminate what's called body roll or the side to side movement. These are typically kind of top heavy and as you take corners they want to lean one way or another. That can be either from cornering, uneven road surfaces if you hit a little dip it can kind of transfer some motion into the coach. And then also like when uh, big trucks are to pass you, that wind will kind of cause you to push side to side and just a, a stiff wind will cause that as well. Now what the, the sway bars, these are available for the front that we have here. We'll show you the rear in just a minute. And they basically make a connection between the axle of the coach, that's the anchor point here and here. It's gonna come up and it connects to the frame. So as the RV is start, starts to lean, that side is gonna go down. As it goes down, it pushes down on this sway bar that transfers all the way across, and it's gonna pull down on the other side. So it's gonna try to counteract that. Another really good upgrade for the body roll, all of those same symptoms to help get rid of that are what they call sumo springs. Now these springs are also gonna attach from the top of the axle up to the frame. Now these are really good about softening the ride of the coach. If you know when you're hitting those hard bumps, this would be the one advantage that these would have over the sway bar is that they actually kind of cushion your ride a little bit, but they're gonna act a lot in the same fashion. As the RV were to roll over to this side, it wants to compress this area. So having this resistance here it's gonna limit the amount of compression that can come down, and the harder you turn, the more it's gonna come down, and they get gradually stiffer as that happens. But adversely, on the other side, in that same situation, as that side starts to go down, this side wants to go up, and this wants to pull that frame rail back down. It wants to get back to its original position. So it's a really great way to uh, you know, help eliminate some of that body roll and also smooth out the ride a little bit in the coach. Now also with the heavy tires that we have on RVs, a lot of times if you get uneven road surfaces or you've got a little bit of a lip there, your tire kind of wants to follow along with that. Or what they call rut tracking or the grooves that are sometimes not very consistent in the road, the tire will kind of get into that and it'll kind of push the RV side to side. This can also be affected with some of the body roll with passing vehicles or with uneven pavement. You can have a little bit of a situation there where your steering wheel wants to wander side to side and that's where a steering stabilizer will come into play. And your steering stabilizer is designed to help absorb any shock that we might get from the steering wheel, let's say if, especially in a blowout situation. If this tire were to blow out, it's gonna immediately try to turn that way. And we've got a nice heavy duty shock absorber here that helps to lessen how much that's gonna move. In addition to that, we've got a nice heavy duty coil spring here. Now, the way it's sitting right now, you can see it's pretty relaxed. We don't have any tension on it at all. But if we were to hit a rut with this tire and it wants to kind of pull that way, it's gonna stretch that spring out. Well, that spring is gonna try to pull it back and try to get it right back to the center location. Same way if it were to go the other way and that spring compresses, and that spring wants to fight to get us back. Now it's gonna connect between your tie rod and the axle. So all the time we're heading down the road, that spring's trying to stay in its neutral position there. 
and it's always going to try to keep us tracking straight down the road. This is again a very, very good upgrade for the driver fatigue situation. Putting on a steering stabilizer will give you a noticeable difference in your handling. So it's a really nice thing. This and your sway bar, one of the easiest things that you could possibly install on one of your RVs. So it's really nice, easy to do, and it'll again help out with that driver fatigue situation. Now here again, we're at the rear of the vehicle now. We've got the same setup here. We've got our rear sway bar in. It's good to have a sway bar in the front. It's gonna take care of the front end, but back here in the back, we also need to give it some additional support. Both the front and the rear sway bars are basically an upgrade to what you've got. You can see here's the old sway bar. Sits up here, which it's good when they, when they come out off the line. It's a good sway bar until we start adding all of the weight that we have with these RVs. They start to get kind of top heavy and that's when we need this additional support. So we're gonna go from what typically is like an inch and three eighths sway bar up to an inch and three quarters. So we're adding all of this in addition to. Now on the front end, it's typically gonna be a sway bar replacement. You're gonna get rid of your old inch and three eighths sway bar and put in one of the much heavier duty sway bars. And these are also gonna be a lot of times made out of chrome alloy steel rather than just standard steel. So a lot more stiffness and a lot more rigidity there. And again, this is going to be for the body roll situation going side to side on the back of the RV. Now if we move right above there, it's kind of hard to see, but we also have the sumo springs that are going to be available for the rear axle here. These are going to do the same thing as what the front sumo springs are doing. They just work here at the rear of the vehicle. Now all of these different parts are available for the Ford F53 chassis, just depending on the, the body that you have on top of it and the year of it, but you check our fit guide on our website, you can find all of these, get the correct part number, get them out, get them installed on your vehicle. Now another great upgrade available for the Ford F53 chassis is what they call a track bar. Sometimes in the front, you're gonna have a, a track bar that's already been added on. It's a really, really good idea. What these do is they mount between the axle and the frame. It would mount something like this, just with the appropriate bracketry there. And this is going to give us a fixed point here and there to keep our axle from moving side to side. We're dealing with a lot of weight when it comes to the coaches and the motorhomes. And you can sometimes experience what they call tail wag. So if a truck were to pass us going down the road, the back of the coach kind of moves side to side. That transfers all the way through the frame and leads to weird handling characteristics. You'll again then have to start fighting to keep your RV straight down the road. Now the tail wag comes from right in this area. What we have as we travel down the road is the winds start to push the back of the RV side to side. Our spring packs will actually start leaning in and out. The distance between the frame and the spring is gonna get smaller and greater and smaller and greater. And by the time we get all the way back to the back of the RV, it can move quite a few inches side to side. So by locking out this point at a point on our frame and a point on the axle, we can completely eliminate that tail wag situation, which is very common in an F53 chassis where you've got your engine and everything up front, and then the back area is usually a lighter storage area underneath, and it hangs out well behind the axle, giving it a lot of leverage. All right, so I know that's a lot of information kind of thrown at you all at once there, but we'll just go over it quickly, just to kind of give it a quick summary. So for the front, we've got the sway bar, that's going to be mainly for your body roll. Uh, the sumo springs of the front also help with body roll pretty considerably. Those also help to soften the ride. The steering stabilizer, that's going to be for the rut tracking. That's going to help us in the emergency situation. Maybe we have a tire blowout. Just helps to keep our steering wheel nice and straight as we head down the road. Here in the rear, same situation. Sway bars for the body roll. Sumo springs are for the body roll, plus the added benefit of smoothing out the ride of the coach. And then our track bar, that's for the situation where we want to correct the back end of the RV, kind of moving back and forth as we're traveling. 
Now I know that's a lot of information to digest all at once, so let's do a quick summary. We'll have our problems and then the component you'll need to help correct it. Now for Wander, we'll start with a steering stabilizer. If that doesn't have enough of an effect, we can add front then rear sway bars. For sway, of course, sway bars front and rear are going to be the number one solution. We're going to follow that up with sumo springs. Now for soft steering, to get that firmed up, the steering stabilizer is going to be an excellent solution. For rough ride, the sumo springs do a great job of getting everything smoothed out on the front and the rear. As far as tail wag goes, of course, that track bar is going to be the solution. All right, that's going to wrap up our look at the suspension upgrades for the Ford F53 chassis. As you can see, these are made to work with each other. We don't have to worry about putting on one and eliminating us from putting on another, so it's nice. We hope this has been helpful in clearing up a little bit about what each upgrade is for and what it's going to solve for. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.